Apple's ad transparency policy cost Facebook, YouTube, and Snap over $10 billion. Following the implementation of a new policy that requires third parties to get user agreement before collecting and sharing data, social media companies like Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Snap are estimated to have lost approximately $10 billion in income by the second half of 2021. According to a recent research by the Financial Times, the implementation of the app tracking transparency, at, regulation lost the four largest social media companies roughly 12% of their income, or $9.85 billion. In April 2021, as part of iOS 14.5 release, Apple finally implemented its long-delayed policy, and this study is the first to show the tangible costs of doing so. A story from the Revenue Times claims that, in absolute terms, Facebook has suffered the greatest financial loss. According to the analysis, Facebook stands to lose the most money since the cost of selling adverts on its platform has risen steadily over the last several years. Snap, however, failed as a proportion of its business, owing to its reliance on mobile advertising. This is due to the fact that at mandates that applications seek users for permission before collecting and sharing data using Apple's device identifier. This restricts the ability of social media platforms to target iPhone owners as part of Apple's efforts to preserve and enhance user privacy. Research. Advertisers reacted by reducing their spending at Snap and Facebook and moved their expenditures elsewhere, in particular for Android phone users and Apple's own booming ad business, the report added. Social media giant Facebook has been the most vociferous opponent of the privacy shift claiming that Apple's measures will be devastating to small companies, in full-page ads in the NYT, Washington Post, and Wall Street Journal. To counteract Facebook's business model, Apple blasted rival social media networks like Twitter for using user data to target ads and monitor clicks. In an effort to provide additional information, Facebook started pushing its own warning before it went live. Facebook and Google, the firm that owns YouTube, did not immediately respond to requests for comment on the Financial Times findings.